Hey everybody, hope you guys are doing all right. So, when you point the finger, you miss the point. Um, this came to me to share with you guys because I just found out that um, Dave Hodges, who's the the, um, the creator and the operator and you know the face of the Common Sense Show, which is a YouTube or was I don't know if it's still around or what happened, but apparently his material has been gone, just like wiped out. Um, and he usually does multiple videos every day. Um, he's a big, big time pro advocate for America and just a good future and like anti-corruption, just good stuff to talk about. And apparently his material's gone. I haven't checked it myself, but somebody else whom I follow uh, just talked about it. I'm, I'm assuming she's right because I, mean, I don't feel like she was lying. So, um, but anyway, the point that I want to talk about, I mean, it's sad and I hope he's doing all right. Like I hope no, you know, nothing bad's happened as far as, you know, his person and everything. But uh, just one point I wanted to bring up was like learning how to ma navigate through their mainstream because YouTube, you know, this, this infrastructure, all this is essentially theirs. So th there's only, there's ways to do things that goes with their flow and there's ways, you know, you can go with their flow and have as little resistance as possible or you can create more resistance for yourself. And when you can specifically, and my hat goes off to these people because they're really putting their lives on the line and, you know, going after these people with a lot of money and power and stuff like that. But when you go after them specifically or in persons or specific companies, like in like in a real type of like, or CEOs of see like the company itself, there's tons of people. So it's like, if you get, it's easier to just talk about a company, but when you single in on like one CEO or a number of CEOs or people inside the company, then you're getting personal and those personal people are attacked and thus have, you know, they, they, there's going to be a reaction to that. Um, <clears throat> so that, this is why I don't like to do that because like, it's also missing the point here. Like the point that I've like with the vampire thing, like you have to allow these evil spirits in there's like the native Americans, how even I was told from a native American, the most powerful and wise native American I've ever met in my life, to be honest. And he was in rehab, but that, you know, whatever, but he, he was ripped my, that's how I felt like his spirit, his strength. Like everybody saw it. Like he's the type of dude that like bears were kind of afraid of him. It's the story he told, shared with us. Like there was one day when he was out picking up firewood and everybody else scattered around and he turned around, it was just him and the bear and the bear looked at him and walked away. So, um, my point being, though, he's the one who told me that the Native Americans themselves even had that coming to them. So it's like everything that's happening here in America and, and, and wherever it's happening, it's happening because it, it was allowed in. So there's things that we need to take account for and to change within our society and ourselves in order to learn these lessons. This is why I'm saying it's really about detaching from these lower vibrational infrastructures and developing higher vibrational infrastructures. That is the solution. And it's gonna be a process of, yes, us having to remove and move all our stuff and our beings and all these things that we that are good. Cause like there's a lot of technology here that came from like bad means, like not good stuff. So it should be, you know, if you can, if you can put it to good use then that's good. But if not, we just try to recycle it and reuse it in a good way. Like a lot of that trash that I wanna clean up in the oceans, we can reuse that and use it for like defensive buildings. There's all different types of things you could use that for that are beneficial to the planet um, instead of it just lying at the bottom of the ocean. If not, if there's a way to dissolve it or turn it into some type of a, you know, good material, then that'd be good too. But if not, let's try to make the most use out of it that we can. Um, but anyway, getting back to the, the internet thing and censorship and all this, is if you guys just focus on the answer, that, that's why, even if you don't want to talk about the hemp, just building a new society, like moving away from the lower vibrational one to a higher vibrational one, but actually taking steps to help humanity get there. Like it's not just a way of being like individually, we have to collectively figure this shit out too. It's an individual and a collective thing. It's both. It's not just one or the other. It's all together. It's holistic. That's the whole thing. It can't just be us all individually completing this thing. If we completely fucked up the earth, then we've still failed because we've all done this mess collectively one way or another. So we're all accountable one way or another. That's why, you know, that's why moving away and figuring out and agreeing on coming into common grounds of a good and better way to live is the answer. You know, whatever that is, it could be different for everybody, but it's got to be in some type of a, a good alignment with each other in nature. Because that's just what a higher vibrational reality is. It's just, it's, it's, you know, essentially physics. So, anyway, I just want to share that with y'all. Hope you guys have a good day. Love y'all. Bye.